Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. Today I thought we'd talk about, well, you know, before that, we have a new couch! Yay! Woo! Comic Pop is moving up! It's kind of hard to see. Right? It is. We really covered it, but yeah. trust me, it's here. It's and it's here. red, and it's red. great. Yeah. I'm sorry you guys missed the auction for the old couch, but congratulations to winners Ben and Ethan for getting the old couch! Right. What a surprise! I can't yeah. believe it. It's like you we totally it. random! You'd think that we wouldn't be allowed to even enter. But you yeah. thought wrong! We're doing Wolverine the End! Okay, uh, in the, like, <laughs> early 2000s... Should I know what that is? Yeah. <laughs> In the early 2000s, Marvel was like, you know what we're never going to do? End Wolverine. You mean like the last Wolverine story? Yes. Uh, and so they thought, wouldn't it be cool, since everyone kind of knows, we all kind of agree we're never going to stop telling Spider-Man stories. Because, like, it just prints money. Yeah. Well, why would I stop getting money? Yeah. That would be stupid. <laughs> But I want to get money, but can you imagine how much it would sell if we did sell the last Wolverine book? Mm-hmm. So let's do that anyway. Let's just cash that ship in right now. Exactly. We're, it's never gonna. Comics are never gonna get any better. Right. So let's do this. So they got. So they actually thought this. They got like definitive writers and artists from the seminal runs on some of these characters. Like Paul Jenkins was brought in to do Wolverine's origin mm-hmm. back right. in two thousand, which we did an episode of Back Issues. Yeah. Uh, so they said, "Hey, Paul, you wrote the first Wolverine story. How about the last one?" And he's like. Sure. Okay. So he did. Uh, incidentally, they also did a couple other ones. They did a Fantastic Four uh, story. They did a uh, uh, X Men book, which was ironic because it was called X Men: The End, and it was three books and like ten issues per book. It's a lot of book. Whoa. It just wouldn't end. It was it was an ironic title? One? Oh yeah. And none of them are in continuity, of course. And they had Claremont write that, so of course he's like, "Oh, I'm finally gonna write the last X Men story." And of course, it never—it didn't even end. It just—it oh. just kept. It was like, and now we pass the torch. Like, what? That was just that the, was end. the end. It was just him being like, "What if I had no editors?" Wolverine: Yay. The End was a story where I was like, "Cool," because I just picked oh, up the Origin. Cover looks awesome. The cover's yeah. awesome. Another mark, by the way, of the end titles was this cool like black banner at the top, mm-hmm. where it's like the end, like oh shit, right. I better run out and do it. It's so sad, by the way, none of them were great. Really? There was no, like, holy shit, that was a fucking ending. They're no. all because like hideously anticlimactic. Anyone who's writing it, like, knows it's not... Eh, it's not real, so, like, yeah. They're not going to bring their A-game. No. Like, for that but silly that, idea. That's the time to bring your A-game. You're yes. Gonna, you're going to end the story. So yeah. End it as great and but, badass as you can. But, like, I feel like the really, like, preeminent, awesome writers are like, no, that's like a gimmick. I'm not going to do that. Right. So, like, you're going to have to get someone who's, like, not Who's happy to do a gimmick. Yeah. Garth Ennis did a Punisher at the end. Was it good? No. It was awful. He just said no end was good, Ethan. <laughs> no. Nuclear war has destroyed everything because the fat cats have destroyed the mm. world and Punisher finds out where all the fat cats are hiding in their bunker. And then he goes there and kills them all. Nice. You're like, no. you're like, wow, what a Doctor Strange love book you've done, Garth Ennis. Thank you for that. What time period does this book take place in? Uh, like a hundred years or something in the future, maybe okay. eighty years, seventy-five. It's hard to tell. It's like like everybody an dead, or mm, yeah, mm. yeah, everyone's dead or not there. Okay. Um, the book is okay. So Wolverine: The End was written by Paul Jenkins, who did Origin, and uh, Claudio Castellini did the art, and it's very comic booky. Like, Wolverine the End, or Wolverine Origin, was like, hey, it's like, almost like a painted... Yeah. You know, they got the Kubert to work on it, and it yeah. was like, ooh, this it was is... almost like an illustrated book. It so was, yeah. It felt very much like a real, like, yeah, like a piece of literature. This is a comic book mm-hmm. in which really, really strong muscle-down people put on costumes and punch each other. Uh, <laughs> okay. But not for a while. Oh. This is six issues, which are... Pro- for the amount of... Well, all right. Let's just get into it. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, for the amount of fucking ramping up for this book, like we waste a lot of time on nothing. And then he goes, and then literally he, he runs out of room on the last page. And he goes, oh, I got it in your book. Right, he's like, oh, here. I don't know. It's just, what the crap. So Wolverine in the end is, right. Wolverine uh, is old. Mm. But not to be confused with old man Logan. Right. 
By the way, this is also pre House of M, so it's before Wolverine has his memories. So oh, okay. after Origin, you know, Origin comes out and Wolverine, his backstory is told, his real name is told. Right. Uh, Rose wrote her diary and then Cookie threw it in the fire, and that for you is like the reader going, "Oh no, Wolverine will never know his past." And then and House of M he wishes for one, and then he gets it. And <laughs> yeah, I have it. Yeah. Oh, it's all set. <laughs> yeah, but before that happened, Paul Jenkins wrote this book, and in it, Wolverine like is old and living in Canada in the woods yeah. and he's a recluse and there's like this old you know uh, mountain man named George who runs him beer and supplies every so often okay. okay and Wolverine will pay him you know handsomely for it and he's been doing it and one of the guys he pays him by not stabbing him pretty much <laughs> he's just a crotchety old bastard why but... does he just get his own shit because Wolverine doesn't want to see anyone in Dune. He wants with. to be the recluse really that he always really has been. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to deal with, like, more than one person. Yes. <laughs> and Because he might freak out and kill them? Well, no, it's not <laughs> Old Man Logan. Remember, yeah, pre-Old right. Man Logan by a while. So he, But no, they never really established, like, hey, Wolverine could potentially be manipulated by Mysterio to murder all of his friends and family. No, in this, it's just... Well, maybe he's just got really stressed out and... You know, yeah, well, he's, he's miserable and he's, he's sad just... and he's lonely and he quit the X-Men and... Uh, he's talking to himself, mm. you know. Well, I mean, he's alone. That's who yeah. you talk That's part to of the course, right? But, you know, but it's like, you know, he'll be walking around, and he's like, he'll be tell- talking to George, and he's like, why are you telling George all these things? And he's like, shut up! You know, like, oh, and you're geez. like, oh my god, Wolverine's coming apart. Uh, some of the, uh, some of George's, like, younger Canadian counterparts are hanging out by the, the hardware store, and they're giving George a hard time by, like, helping out Wolverine. Oh. And they're like, how long have you been running beer up to that old guy anyway? And he's like, since I was 11. And you're like, whoa. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's a long time, George. Uh, so George goes Does he to pay see... him for this? Yeah, oh no. Jo- uh, Wolverine pays him, but he never tips yeah. him. Yeah, he's been paying him a quarter a week <laughs> since he started. <laughs> yeah. Where does Wolverine get his money? Wolverine has been saving money since, you know... Well, uh, I mean, if you have... What, a $20 bill from the 1800s? How much is it worth now? <laughs> That's true. He just held on to all his old stuff until it became well, worth Well, until it became money. worth a lot, and then he traded it all in for real money. Right. Uh, or he just murders people and takes their money. I mean, he could. Well, he he this... doesn't in this book. He's a hero in this book. <laughs> he, he's, an actually, he's actually a great investor, and he just lives off his like dividends. He certainly money. seems to be. Yeah. Like, it's bizarre, because he has every... He, there's no, he doesn't want for anything. Right. Well, he's been around since, like, the, the 1800s, 1800s, so he yeah. could have invested in... You know, coal, yes. steam, yeah. oil, anything. Yeah. Right, but even in Origin, we've established, like, he's he spent a significant amount of time just running around in the woods with no shirt yeah, on. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean... Yeah. And he continues to do so. Well, yeah, as an old, you know, as an old man. He's cutting the heads off fish right here, shirtless, on the deck of a boat. He's earning his keep. Anyway... He's kind of gone back to yeah. where he was before the X-Men. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's, he is almost entirely divorced of the X-Men at right. this point. Okay. But, uh, so... George goes to visit Wolverine. He gives him his beer and his magazines and whatnot. And uh, what kind of magazines? Like like guns and ammo and oh. girly magazines. I'm sure oh, they don't say. They don't say. <laughs> well, they show a couple of his magazines, but they don't show any like porno magazines. Right. Anyway, uh, Wolverine gets a letter that George also has, but he okay. didn't open it. And the letter basically says, "Your old nemesis, Victor Creed, aka Sabretooth, is dead." Oh. And you've been summoned to his funeral. Like, he, Why? by his request. Oh. That's an interesting request. You know, yeah, yeah, that's strange. If if I had a nemesis, mm-hmm. like someone I hated with a passion, yeah. Yeah. and I wanted to kill them, yeah. if I invited them to my funeral, mm-hmm. it's because I would want them to be killed and then buried with me. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you want them to see, like, you weren't able to kill me. Yeah, you Somebody never else be- did, and now you never will. Right. I assume Sabretooth just died of old age. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah. So that's somebody not... or time killed me and you didn't. Yeah, you but did. that's you just it. Kill me. Wolverine was never trying to kill Sabretooth. Yeah. Sabretooth no. was trying to kill Wolverine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, if you flip that, if it's Wolverine's why, funeral... Why wouldn't Wolverine want to kill Sabretooth? Well, because... Wolverine's not in the habit of killing people. He kills all kinds of people. Yes, but... Well, he's he, the best at what he mostly does. Mostly he thinks he can't kill Sabretooth. Oh, but right. Also, because... Sabretooth has been harassing Wolverine since the invention of Sabretooth. Uh-huh. And there was never really any indication as to why. 
Um, and that was the, the to the writers being like, oh, mm-hmm. you never knew maybe. Right. Like, maybe. what is it? Like, yeah. Like every every day on every year on Wolverine's birthday. Sabretooth would come and harass him, no matter what Wolverine was doing. Sabretooth always knew where he was and would fuck with him. So there's some kind of connection. There's always a connection. Mm-hmm. And as a, in the like in the 80s and 90s, you're always like, is Wolverine his dad or his brother or something? Mm-hmm. No. Were they, were they friends? Yeah, were they old friends that he doesn't remember? Because this is when we established that Wolverine's memory loss is a byproduct of not just his Weapon X reprogramming slash experimentation. Right, with the adamantium and all that. Yes. It's also his healing factor. Every time he experiences a traumatic event, his healing factor heals his brain so he doesn't remember it. That is so dumb. And oh. that's why he doesn't remember his traumatic past. But that... See, he's, he is genetically predisposed to never remember anything significantly terrible in his life. That's that awful. Weird. Yes. And not... Awful, like, that's so tragic for <laughs> him. That's really shitty, because that means you can't grow as a person. That means yeah. nothing tragic ever happens to you, so you can't, like, ever overcome something really big. Right. Yeah. That's why Wolverine's such a stunted little man-child. Oh. Maybe. By the way, uh, that's Paul Jenkins' interpretation, and, uh, no. Yeah, screw you, Paul. <laughs> and, uh, nobody else ever said that. No one ever says that or establishes it in any way. Okay. Once again, House of M, he just remembers it and that's the end. Right. See, I could understand if, like, he forgot memories because, say he takes a bullet to the brain. Yeah. His brain reheals. Oh, you but, mean like, like in X-Men Origins Wolverine? Exactly. So those neurons Don't reference are that movie. <laughs> I'm just saying if there was some way that he that his brain received trauma. Ah, right, And yes. then the brain cells grew back. Right. right. So it wouldn't grow sense. back, that's like, fair. in the shape that contains the memory. They mm-hmm. just well, like, back, like yeah, they were just void. those. Yeah. Those cells were destroyed. Yeah, Their memories gone. are gone, yeah. right? And since the no. brain can regrow, he can become a person again. Yeah, can't get the memory back. Yeah. Right. Wolverine goes to the funeral. <laughs> right. He goes to the funeral. Yeah. He goes to the funeral, and it's like populated by all like his little foes, but he doesn't like bother them. Right. Like the Blob is there, and he's like old and saggy, and like how, Mystique is there, and how she... could anyone else still be alive? I don't know. They they have a little bit of healing factor. Well, because yeah. no. Well, they all they all have healing. some kind of healing. Factor. Well, Mystique could be really old, and we don't know yeah. or whatever. Who who cares? The point is, they're not even in the book. They they're there, and they're like, oh, the Blob is just all skin. Yeah, right. He's like, oh no, I'm all saggy. Yeah, he is like that in House of M. By the way, he's one of the deep power mutants, and like he's in a hotel room that he like ransacked. And he's surrounded by whores. And then his, you know, his mutant ability went away to be fat. So he's just skin. He's like, help! And they're like, oh, why did you do that? It's awful. Sabretooth's lawyer comes up to Wolverine. And she's like, after Victor, Free- after, after Victor Creed found Jesus, he wanted me to work out his estate. And so, <laughs> so you're like, oh my god. So you have to stay in his haunted house for a night. Get it. <laughs> no, oh. she like gives him another piece to the puzzle, and like oh, like to Weapon X. Yeah, well, okay. Weapon X was a story in which Wolverine's adamantium is explained. Right. That's he it. was part of a program. Yeah. Deadpool was part of a program. It was an evil shadow Canadian government organization that used mutants as experiments to. Further their own agendas. They were really apologetic about it, though. Oh, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Women X is a douche program. We're really sorry about this yeah. douche program. But uh, but that's it. But in this book, Wolverine um, then basically uses some bit of information to go back to the estate, the Howlett estate, that he was born in. It oh. took place in Origin. In Origin. It still which exists. Just invented. Well, yeah. Af- okay. After the events of Origin, when, like, the mom blew her brains out and the yeah. dad was killed and Logan was assassinated by his own son, Wolverine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the estate was pretty. After- oh, and then after the old man, the grandfather, who was really the rich guy, sent like, dog out. Sent dog and then died. Pretty much everyone in the area kind of just felt like the, the area was, was haunted and, and cursed, sure. and so they just left it alone. So, like, the wilderness kind of took over it. And uh, so when Wolverine goes back there, like, it's overgrown it's and it's abandoned apart, and yeah. fall apart. It yeah. should have crumbled to the ground. <laughs> well, it's built really well. Yeah. I mean, it basically is just a foundation. Yeah, it's not like... like it's the Coliseum. We're not talking about, like, just marble. Yeah, it's made of stone. Yeah, it's strong. I mean, like, like, the walls are caved in a little bit. Listen, castles are still standing in there. Yeah, because know. they're maintained. No, no some... Not, some... They haven't all been... They have, an, they have an outdoor structure. And the idea here is that, like, Wolverine, who, by the way, is driven by George the whole time, 
He's like, all right, George, now we gotta go to New York. You gotta drive me to <laughs> New York, and they go to the they go to the funeral. And he's like, Why would okay, he do well this? that was dumb. Let's go back to Canada. You gotta drive me back him. to Canada. And also, George's like, because George okay. is nice. Yeah, George is a nice guy. He yeah. is like the most Canadian character in this book. He's just like, right. okay, well, I guess I'll help you drive to the to, to the states, eh? And then he's like, okay, well, I guess we'll. Oh well, we were here for twenty minutes, and you stood by a tree behind everything. Look, you didn't want to talk to anybody. Okay, I guess we'll just go back to Canada. There huh? was some old man who you were helping since you were a little boy, and he's like, my, my someone died, and the, I have to go to a funeral, and now I have to and act out some things like. You would be compelled to help them. Well, you I would mean, be I might have a job I would be and stuff that them. I have to do. I might have a family. Well, George, yeah. pretty much George's job is bringing shit to Wolverine. Oh. So he's more like Wolverine's butler. <laughs> okay. So, uh, George the butler. by the way, he goes to the, to the funeral because he's like, I never understood why Creed bothered me so much. And I thought maybe, like, going to this event, this seminal moment, would give, right. give me some closure. And I just feel stupid for going. Yeah. Um, which is like a real moment, which yeah. I kind of like. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, exit any references or need to know anything about Sabretooth, because that's all that Sabretooth that you get in Wolverine in the end. Oh, that sucks. So moving on, uh, Wolverine goes to the Howlett estate, and he's basically like, I'm being followed. He figures out that like some shadow organization is following, and he assumes it's Weapon X. Okay. And so he's like, Weapon X is following me. Has been following me since you know I was a kid. Like the 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 whole that my whole life is a conspiracy orchestrated by Weapon X. Oh that, no! After I escape from Weapon X, like, they've been keeping tabs on me. Right. And they and then senile crazy old they Wolverine. They for me to be in the X Men. Yeah. Like, all my friends were part of it. Right. <laughs> I used to start like putting my feet in tissue boxes and only drinking my urine. Yeah. So he goes. By the way, he find when he's when he's at the Hallow State, he finds like an old samurai book. Which would never have been there. And of course, Wolverine has a tether to his samurai origins because after, uh, after at Weapon X and shit, yeah. he would go to Japan and go on a merry adventure, which was written by Claremont and uh, Frank Miller, <laughs> called Wolverine. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole cool story, but it basically is just like Wolverine falls in love and he battles, you know, uh, samurais and, 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 you know, tries to like, Calm the beast within him through this new culture. Yeah, and uh, so that's his tether to Japan, and he's always it, it's it, and it's always brought up at some point or another. Mm -hmm. So in this case, like, okay, I know where this book was checked out from because I checked out this book before and whatever. So I'm gonna go to Japan now. Okay. So he goes. So before he goes, he's like, George, I want you to take my shit and keep it because I'm not coming back. Because Weapon X is involved, and I'm too old for this. Has he explained to George who he is? No. Oh. Does George know about the claws? Yes. Okay. Yeah, at some point he's so like, he Weapon knows... X did this to me! Oh. And that's when you find out, by the way, that like one of his middle claws is broken. Oh. That's how you're like, oh, he's old. Because he's like, snicked, and then it's like, snick, yunk. Like, oh. You're like, oh. Like, wow. What a cool image! What? What, what could break? Adamantium? What could break his adamantium claw? You never find out. That's this book. It's what? Just, it's just full of vague bullshit. Mm. I assumed it would have to be like Thor's hammer, right? Well, Uru hammer is enchanted magic. I mean, adamantium is like maybe another adamantium thing. It could be. Never even <laughs> an adamantium bullet. <laughs> Since we brought up that, yeah, it's never addressed or anything. So George basically stays at the house because it's like it's a nice place. It's Full of shit, and, you know. And whatever. Wolverine has a lot of custom bike magazines. <laughs> yeah, well, Wolverine basically says, one day I'm going to call you, and I'm not going to call you directly. I there, I want you to go into my magazines. And one of those magazines is not quite like all my other magazines, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I want you to watch that magazine. <laughs> Early uh, men! <laughs> right, it's something like that. And... So, uh, eventually, basically, Wolverine takes out, like, a personal ad in the magazine that George finds out is not, like, the one... That, is the secret magazine. Okay. And in it, he, like, leaves him notes, like, you know... Canadian lumberjack. I made it to Japan, I'm alive, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay. And then, like, you use this amount of money to do X, keep the rest. So then George, like, opens this thing, and he, like, finds millions of dollars. In, like, a suitcase or whatever. Well, it's Canadian dollars. Canadian so. dollars. Well, it's true. Yeah. You know. The exchange it's still billions of dollars. It's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
so Wolverine hitches a fishing boat to Japan because he doesn't want to be caught. You know, he doesn't want anybody tracking him. Okay. And that's when he's like opening up fish with his claws and such. Like he mm. he's earning past. They found him as a stowaway. No, it was and, a knife. It was a knife. Oh, okay. He wasn't he giving was away snicked. his identity. That's <laughs> right. He was hiding himself. Um, but it is established later on in the story that mutants are kind of it's 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 done. It's in passe. Danger? We get it's it. over. It's over. Like it's... no mutants oh, exist, they, no, but like nobody it. cares. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just like everybody they just shouldn't shit. give a shit. Right. Now they finally don't. So, like, look, it's far enough in the future where, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. They're just people. Well, but there is still an X-Men, but Wolverine has nothing to do with them. Okay. And, once again, we don't know why. Mm. Uh, so, Wolverine goes to Japan, and he finds the library, and he says, like, I've got your book, and whatever. So then he goes to, like, this uh, this old, you know, like, Yakuza uh, like hangout hideout okay and they're gonna do a blood sacrifice to some Japanese deity and Wolverine busts in and he kicks the shit out of everybody mm-hmm. and they become the blood sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> no that'd be cool but no um, so then uh, you know it, it's all like Wolverine following these breadcrumbs down this trail that might not even be anything yeah. and every, and, it, and every decision that is made as far as narrative goes is like what this is also really weird that Sabretooth is the one setting him off on this trail like right. he knows more about Wolverine's history and origin well, and the, all this shit well it, it's more implied that Sabretooth was a, was yet another pawn oh that Wolverine or Sabretooth's funeral set off set these events in motion right so then uh well then he fights uh he fights a Snow monster. He well, he fights a. <laughs> yes. It's called a yeti. No, it's, it's not. Wolverine has fought yetis and Wendigos before. This is neither of those things. Oh. He fights what is he? What essentially looks like a ghost. Yeah. Uh, and loses. The ghost kicks the shit out of him, and he's like, "Is I this mean, in Japan?" Yeah, it is in Japan. It's, it's a Japanese ghost. Of, it's, it, it looks like a Japanese ghost. Oh, he's fucked. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> no, it'll it'll haunt him forever. Where he goes. Yeah. And there's no cure or anything. <laughs> It'll come out of the drain in his shower. It'll bother you in the daytime. There's no defense yeah. against it. He'll dream and it'll be there. He'll wake up and it'll still be there. Yeah, oh, You're screwed. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. he can do. He fights this Japanese, seemingly Japanese ghost, and it's like, I could kill you anytime I want. Later. And then leaves Wolverine. <laughs> All right. Wolverine's like, cool, man, thanks. And, and and it ends, the issue ends with Wolverine going, why didn't you? And you're like, shut up. Yeah, stop being a bitch. Yeah. He just wants to die. Yeah, stop it, Wolverine. Don't be such a tool. So then Wolverine climbs That's this, That's not like, the Wolverine we want. Yeah. So then Wolverine climbs this snowy mountain, and he reveals, like, I have flashes of my memories. I kind of, like... Right. And I've, I, I've lived long enough for me to piece together my real name. Like, I know my name's James Howlett. I know that I... I know who the Howlett's were. Okay. I know there was, like, a tragic event that took place that I'm sure I'm involved with in some way. <laughs> um, but I have these images of, like, a beautiful redhead that isn't Jean Grey, and I don't know who, he, who she is, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, fragments of Wolverine's past peppered in so that Wolverine can care about the things that happened in Origin, even though he still doesn't really know what happened in Origin. Mm. It's just so he can be like, why? Wolverine, like, is climbing up this snowy mountain where he's met by these, like, malicious-looking dudes in in gas masks and, like, fallout gear. And alien (laughs) hoverbike ski Well, that's to establish they're in the future. It's the future, yeah. Those Those are hover jet skis. Those are legitimately hover jet skis. Those are those are hover oh. hover snowmobile jet skis. Yeah. yeah. So while Wolverine is unconscious and being carted into this like complex in this Japanese castle on the top of the snowy mountain, then we get into the Matrix. He's having flashbacks to Weapon X <laughs> ah. and being you know manipulated and broken apart and such. And then he's visited by this. He wakes up and there's this monk there and he's like, "What's going on in here?" And he goes through this like weird facility. Where he's finally met by like the Japanese ghost that he was fighting. Oh, before. but it's actually a human. It's a person. It's a person. Oh. And is it a mutant? It's a mutant. It's okay. its power. He can it's... project a ghost-like. Or form? he becomes. You know, he, be- he becomes like a ghost-like form. Oh, and uh, yeah. But what's funny about this Japanese ghost is he's not Japanese at all. Oh. He just wears his hair in a very like <laughs> ceremonial Japanese form, and he's wearing robes, and he has his office in Japan. And, uh... So he's, like, taking up the culture, but he's not Japanese. Exactly. Okay. Like what Wolverine did. Yeah. What is he? He's Wolverine's brother. What? Dog? No. Dog is his half-brother. Yeah. Um, 
But, okay, so like, well, the the ghost guy throws Wolverine his sword. Like a oh sword. shit! Let's battle in the opening of Origin. Yes, there was a headstone. Yeah, that's to whom the headstone belonged. Uh, I talked John about Hill. this at one point. Did. Oh, what the fuck? What if they killed their oldest son because he had bone claws? They might have. Maybe. Maybe they did. Well, guess what? There's another story that we will do shortly <laughs> after this that answers that very question. Oh, I got all excited. Uh, the the bro- mm. yeah, Wolverine's older brother, okay. John Howlett had this, had a healing had uh his powers were he could turn into a ghost man, and he has claws. Mm. And a healing factor. I guess. Or I mean, I or assume because he's, he's, he's hard to kill. So then Wolverine and his brother, like, fight. What? Why is his brother... Yeah, now why we'll does his brother out. fight? Yeah, yeah. His brother basically... His brother is, like, such a spaz in this book. It's... Which is like, yeah, of course, he's a, he's a howlet. Well, you haven't seen me in over 200 years, so... Uh, Let's fight. Eat me. Well, it's very like he starts then espousing how like I've watched you since the very beginning, and I know all these details about your past, and I can't wait to tell you about Rose and Dog and Cookie and what happened to Smitty, and I know about Sabretooth and why he visited you on your birthdays, and I know about what happened to Professor Xavier and why you quit the X Men. I know all the details of your past. And I'm ready to share them with you, but let's fight first. And then they do, and then he doesn't. <laughs> and, like, right. they fight, and he's like, I hate you, and I love you, and then, like, they fight, oh and then he loses, God. and then he hugs him, and then he's like, behold, my criminal empire, my, my, my little brother, I've created this evil criminal empire in which I plan on destabilizing the American economy. Won't you join me? What?! What? Why? Because he's a, he's alive for two hundred years. Yes, and, and his he's plan a master is to disable the to, to, to stabilize, stabilize like the Western economy. We already took care of that. <laughs> yeah. Why now? Well, I don't know. And it doesn't really. They don't he's the it. bad guy. Because he's the bad guy from like a fucking rejected Bond movie. Oh, also, why does God. he need Wolverine's help with this he bullshit? Doesn't, he doesn't. But he likes his it. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Join me. Guess what? Join you me. had a brother for two hundred and eighty years, and you reach out to him so now. I had to break him down. Yeah. I had to. I had to get him at his lowest point, or else yeah. he, he was too much of a goody two shoes. That's right. That's exactly what it is. Actually, uh, he he like while before he by the way reveals the nefarious scheme he just kind of like shows off his cool pad which is filled with people and workers and scientists and like jet ski riders with future masks isn't it cool we both inherited like some japanese culture yeah and like that we both have claws (laughs) (laughs) we're both kind of dicks like isn't that cool but i'm a bigger one though and because i'm the older brother i took it to the logical conclusion yes i became a super villain yeah uh so then he shows like Wolverine this tank that's a recreation of the tank that they submerged Wolverine in for Weapon X. Because Wolverine's like, what does this have to do with Weapon X? And he's yeah. like, nothing. <laughs> so by issue four, we're like, well, okay, All that's right. done. Now let's hang out with John Howlett. And uh, so Wolverine, oh, so John basically, he he gives him his details of his past, where he's like, so... Whole, whole issue where we're just talking about John now. Yes, where John's like, okay, so here's who I am. Here's what happened to me. Here's what happened. So, I was born, life was good. Wait, stopping you. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? Right. <laughs> Nobody. That's why we're doing it on this episode. So that no one can ever have to read this or do anything about it again. You could literally just watch this episode and go like, oh, okay, well, I don't have to do that. Like, I don't normally do that. I'm like, yo, go buy the book. Just don't, you don't have to. I don't even think it's in print anymore. So why waste an issue going into John's background? Because who is he? He's an important character. He's a character that Paul Jenkins created. If this story was good, that would would be valuable. Yeah, yeah. Marvel be like, well, let's bring him out and do stuff with him. The author thought it was good. Yeah, or he wouldn't have written it. Yeah. And we get this whole backstory about how Ugh. John life was good on the Howlett estate, and then one day John was down by the creek and he saw his mom boning the groundskeeper, right. and then he ran home to tell on her, and then his claws manifested, and he accidentally scratched his mom's back, and that's where the claw marks came from mm-hmm. in the origin book right. that Rose sees when she's that. walking in on her right. naked, and like then they threw him into an asylum. 
where they like threw away the key and faked then his death. yeah they faked his death threw him in the asylum and then they died so less cool and then he was stuck there. and he was just trapped there and then of course like he never died see that's so, so less cool than like if he supposedly died in childbirth like, ran away or something like that and like or, no not ran away like no, they was... buried him and oh, he and wakes like, up in the oh, coffin and oh, his way out. out yeah that would be cool. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. It was not that. Yeah. Instead, the asylum just kind of like falls apart around him because he's like, I never die. And I'm yeah. not really crazy, but he starts to go a little crazy. But how could they just leave a person? Well, because like, well, yeah, he has no family. They, they The family, like... Yeah, but you can't just leave. You're just like, well, we're closing. Well, no. They, they, well, okay. They didn't close. Oh. It was more like the, the asylum was just like, like falling apart. Like their funding just kind of got cut or whatever. And then Weapon X showed up. Oh. And Weapon X is like, I'll take him off your hands. Yeah, let's go. And <laughs> John grew this deep seated resentment towards the man for leaving him there. What? And for like the caging man. him. Yeah, the man. What? For all the injustices that he had in- endured. You know, like well, rich people and like institutions okay, and so, so forth. He was unfairly institutionalized yes. for an accident when he was a child. For like several lifetimes. And. Apparently, no one would ever let him out. I guess because they were scared of his claws. Well, they were scared of like who he represented, and he, they when they when they dropped him off, he was, you know, he was a danger, and, and they never reevaluated his case. Or I guess not. They determined that no, actually, you're crazy. I think he just you belong. Here. I think the idea was that he was broken, and so he never really like responded to uh, anything. Um, so he has a ghost power. Yes. How come he doesn't just escape? Because he's okay. The reason why the X Men even exist is because Professor Charles Xavier brings these mutants into his school and teaches them how to use their powers. Right. Oh. So he doesn't know how He to... doesn't know he's a mutant. He doesn't know he has powers. He just knows that claws come out of his hands. If you have if you're if you're born in a bubble and you have a thing that happens to where like, you know, you grow horns, you think that's how life is until right. you're put into an asylum where people don't do that. Now you think you're a freak. Then Weapon X shows up and they're like, "Hey, we'll help you." And so they bring him into their institution and then they teach him how to use his powers as a weapon because weapon x was the like a defense arm of the canadian government so they're like we'll make you into a a weapon right but you understand like sometimes power just manifests yeah his claws just manifested you're saying the ghost power did not manifest the ghost power manifested but like well they kind of taught him how to use it and so he couldn't control it he couldn't control it. it's not like he was like oh i can turn into a ghost i'm gonna leave right and by the way that's a leap in logic. He should have just been like, oh, I can turn into a ghost. I'll just flex that muscle and then not be here anymore. Yeah. But he doesn't, and Weapon X takes him and then trains him to be a ghost. Maybe it's really hard to use the ghost ability. Right. So then he escapes and he kicks their asses and leaves. Once again, really mad at, like, the man for having used him. Hmm. So then he's and like... And also teaching him how to... And also saving himself. his life and... Oh, yeah, and, and freeing him. him freedom. Yeah. Kind of. So... After this ri- this riveting tale of John Howlett's backstory that doesn't matter and doesn't take place in continuity, right? Uh, Wolverine uh, and John go out to like the top of the snowy mountain, mm-hmm. where you know Wolverine's like, "I think I'm going to consider your offer." And then John is like, "I I knew you would, my little brother." And then Wolverine pushes him off the edge of the cliff, <laughs> and then he falls, and he's like, and he's like, "James," and then he falls, and then Wolverine calls the X Men who are now kind of like the cops, and they show up because he's a mutant and it's mutant affairs. Right. But the X-Men have kind of become like their own form of bureaucracy. Like, in a way, the SS in a way? Yeah. So, like, the X-Men show up and they're like, oh, he's jackbooted, uh, you know, whatever's there in charge here. And they, they you know, it's our investigation because it's mutant affairs. Uh-huh. And whatever. So then they're... <sighs> So then Wolverine is like, he didn't die. I know he didn't die. No, he could turn into a ghost. What good is pushing him <laughs> off a mountain going to do? Exactly. And he just turned into a ghost on the way down, and then he wouldn't hit anything. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Yeah. By the way. Way to go, Wolverine. The, you <laughs> moron. John gives James an opportunity to think about his offer. Mm-hmm. And when he does, Wolverine goes out by himself to talk to himself. And he's like, why didn't you tell me about my brother and everything? And then he he then answers himself, and he's like, you you never would have been able to handle it. And he's like, don't talk to me like that. You come out here. And then Professor X's 
mind spirit comes out of Wolverine and they have a conversation. What? And Wolverine's been talking to Professor X the entire time. Professor X is in his body? Yes, because Wolverine killed Professor X. Okay. Because he had to. He had to? He had oh. to. Oh. Why? Oh, oh. That's a great story, was isn't it? I bet you would like to know why. Yeah. Well, they don't tell you. Oh but my trust God. me, it was a reason that Wolverine cannot dispute. And now and Professor, Z- Professor, Professor X mind is lives in Wolverine's body. Lives in body. Wolverine's body. And then of course See, like that's at least cool. It's a neat idea. That's a cool idea. But it's still kind of shit. But it's a waste cuz you're like you're doing too many things and you're wasting the wrong you're wa- you're putting the wrong energy into the wrong things. Right. Like that, how come Professor X isn't like talk like doing more shit like all right, well let's, I mean you let's read how let's read John's mind. Right. No, he doesn't do that cuz Wolverine doesn't want to do that. In fact, there's a point where Wolverine says to Professor X, you know, maybe we should call your X-Men and let them know that you're alive. I bet they'd be pleased as punch. And he's like, you know I can never return, Logan. Not after what happened. And you're like, what happened? Never revealed and never account. Like, fuck you! Yeah. But don't you want to know? <laughs> oh! It's better than the story we're getting. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's way better. Okay. And if, But the, the thing is, then you'd have to explain it. Then you have to write something. It's cooler just hint at a neat idea than explain it. So Wolverine gets picked up by the X-Men. And the X-Men are like, you know, Wolverine's like, he's not dead. And they're like, yeah, whatever, old man. Even oh though he God. even though he killed the guy and he called them and he handed them the case, yeah. now all of a sudden he's an old crazy old man who can't yeah. be trusted. But <laughs> like, like, we know better than you yeah. about this guy we've never met. Yep, and the X-Men are these like total douchebags who are just like, so far from what the X-Men used to be. They're all Cyclopses. <laughs> yes. I mean, like, this guy is basically an X-Men. <laughs> Cyclops just cloned himself a bunch of times, now they're all dicks. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have, like, a, you know, a, a, a telepath and a Cyclops analog. Uh-huh. And the Cyclops analog is a dick to Wolverine, and the, and the telepath, of course, can't get through Wolverine's mind because he's like, I've been trained against the best, you know. But it's just Professor X. Probably. Probably. So then, uh, before they left, Wolverine sent another ad in his magazine to George to meet him at at JFK International Airport. Okay. So, uh, Wolverine meets George in the bathroom, and then George wears Wolverine's clothes, and Wolverine wears his clothes, and they give the X-Men the old switcheroo! And so the X-Men go and pick up George, and Wolverine escapes. Uh, George is bald. Wolverine has giant <laughs> white hat. hair flowing out he of his head. He had a hoodie over him. Oh, hoodie. There you go. So, Damn it. then, uh, and by the way... Why why does he need to escape from the X-Men? He called them. Because he has to go and defeat John. Why doesn't he just go? They're like, oh, you can't leave without us? Yeah. Because you called us? Like, you're with us now? Yeah. That My doesn't question make any is, sense. Well, not how like you're... They, a, no, they're... Well, okay. How would they, they hinder it? They give him a hard time. Well, because they're stupid and young. They don't get it. And plus, this is a family matter. I gotta, I gotta deal with this myself. Then why did he call them in the fucking first place? Because there's a whole complex full of other oh willing my... participants. Oh, yeah, that take down the whole operation. That's right. So, uh, by the why way... Why did he call them and leave? Right? I don't know. Remember all those times I've, like, walked <laughs> off the couch in frustration as yeah. a joke? I'm, like, this close yeah. to just doing it. We're almost yeah. done. Really. So, that, oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna fucking... You know what? I can give you the play-by-play. Wolverine goes to Las Vegas. Where John has his other secret evil military compound. Naturally. And he's going to blow it up. Why? Like with a nuclear bomb. Like he's going to blow up Los Angeles. Oh. I mean, I'm sorry, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Because that will dis- destabilize the Western economy and, 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 and there I we mean, go. a lot of money does move through there, that's true. Yes. I don't think that would. No, it, no it would. <laughs> it's not like it's Fort Knox. Is no. he going to, like, implicate. Like other another like other country and start a war? No, no, he's, he's gonna blow gonna, it up. That blow up Las Vegas. Well, okay. remember he's a little crazy too. And that's it. Oh, it maybe in the future did Las Vegas become like a more important? It didn't seem like it. No, no, no. Hmm. All right. So I mean, go on. <laughs> so Wolverine. Look, it'll just stabilize the economy. Yeah. yeah. Just take it for granted. So, you know, John, sure. uh, so, by the way... Uh, it's the thing that makes the most sense so far in this When podcast. Wolverine meets George, he's like, you need to give me my, like, my last resort suitcase. So George gives him, like, the secret encrypted suitcase. Uh-huh. And in it is, like, some money and his last 
X-Men uniform. Which, by the way, is not his old X-Men uniform. It's, Aww. like, the updated... It's the one that The last existed. one. <laughs> it's the one that never existed that they, re- that they designed for this, for this comic. Yep. That, you know, shows, I guess, that he's an X-Men, or but that he's... he kept doing it for a while after the present time. Yeah. See, that's a shame. The first... If it had been the original costume, right? it would have been amazing. An old Wolverine, and, yeah. like, the, it would have been cool. So, he goes to this fucking... He go, he, yeah, and he fights he his... He goes to the base. He goes to the base... He gets to the last level. <laughs> he, he fights the he boss. Fights the, he, well, he fights the, 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 the Threshold Guardians. Ah. And then he gets to the boss. And the Threshold Guardians, by the way, are like dudes with guns. And he beats them. And then yep. uh, John, of course, he's like using his claws and his ghost powers. And he's like... Mm. And while he's beating Wolverine, he's also dropping all these different details. You know, like... You'll never win, Wolverine. I'm better than you. I'm greater than you've ever been. And I could tell you about all the children that you've had that you don't remember, or the ones that you're disappointed in, or the one that you never knew you had, who is a mutant, that I'm going to come to after I kill you and manipulate into working for me. <laughs> so then... This uh, guy just needs to get his own life. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Yeah. He's all obsessed a little bit too much about his brother. Yeah. yeah. So the X-Men show up. They don't get involved, by the way. Like oh. they're not. They're on. They're almost there, but not before the thrilling conclusion of X Men Wolverine in the end, where. Uh, so like John is just being a complete asshole, right? Right. Yep. He's slashing he's him. He's antagonizing with his, him. Yeah, he's antagonizing him. He's dangling carrots of information that he's never going to reveal, yeah. and he's telling him like, "You're an asshole. Like you're a loser. You never got over anything. You can't even remember shit. Like mm-hmm. you, you can't even remember mistakes you've made. You can't even grow as a person. Like." You're, you're garbage. And so then uh, then Wolverine stabs him with his adamantium claws and he dies. What? Like, he just he just stabs well, him. Well, you have to be shitting Is he, me. like, phasing around and stuff and he, and like, then he, anticipates you know, when he's going to... You know, that is a thing that I've seen that does not take place in this book. <laughs> yeah, that's in uh, Chronicles of Riddick. No. Yeah. Yes, it that's is. That's it. That's it. It's Chronicles of fucking Riddick. Yeah. 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 No, they don't do that. No, they don't do that. They fall off of, like, one of those stupid, like, you know, things... You get in, you like look out the window on the way up to the mountain. A cable car? A cable car. And Wolverine, you know, like lands on top of John with his claws. Oh. Or no, upside down. No, it's Wolverine lands like bottom down. You know, like, so it looks like John's going to get him. Yeah. But Wolverine got him. Had his claws up. Claws, claws up in the, in the heart. And he, he's about to die and he says, like, I'm so sorry that I did all this. And I wish that I could have been alive just a few more moments longer to tell you about Rose. And then he dies. And you're like, you wouldn't have done that. <laughs> but he, Fuck you were a you. dick the whole time right, and but, you never gave anything but, away. But it's sad, right? Because his brother died. He kills his brother and he's sad. And maybe his brain will rewrite it so he doesn't remember it anyway. And, you, you know, and, it, and, and he's so sad. He's crying in the rain. And he's like, well, Ray's not crying. No, no, John. No, John is. John's sad. Yeah, because John's dying because <laughs> he's a fucker. <laughs> right, nobody's more sad that he didn't get to tell his brother all the information that he was tormenting him with during the fight that he tried to murder him. That in. he was just having with him. Yeah. Well, no, but, like, if the earlier fight is an indication, he wasn't going to kill him. No, but earlier in the scene, like, yeah. Wolverine breaks the fucking nuclear device. Oh. He breaks the launch chip. Yeah. And, lo- and John just goes, mm, kill him. Like, I don't care about, I, to hell with my brother, kill him as soon as you possibly can. <laughs> now the Americanomy won't... Fall. Like, he legitimately ah. says something like, him, I don't bro. even care I mean anymore. I mean him. it for real. Don't misinterpret my intentions. <laughs> I want him to die. Yeah. And it's not that I know you can't kill him. Like, I think you probably can. Yeah, and I really want you to succeed. And then the last <laughs> shot is just Wolverine holding his dead, bro- his, his dead brother, and then the X-Men slash SWAT team descending on him. And then they take, they have a big full panel of that, and then they show you the same panel, but a little smaller. What? Look at that. Like, it's... That's the same... Yeah, they just repeat a portion of that image below. Below, but small. They don't change That's anything. Like, incredibly and cheap. If, if they, like, filled him with bullets, maybe I'd get it. But it's just the same thing. It's just the it's same just, thing. So it's just... He's he, just sad about his brother. He's just sad about his brother. His brother dies and he's sad. Wolverine, the end. The last Wolverine story would be... That's that not Wolverine, the end. He's still alive. I know! There's that's more adventures that could happen. Exactly! Exactly! But no, it even, he even like goes on a suicide run. He's like, George, you can take my money and my house and all yeah. my stuff. 
Yeah, I'm good. This is it. This is the last Wolverine story. It's even story. like slightly implied that maybe George is one of his sons. Like it's just, it's just like the old, the coolest parts of this book are these vague references to things that you never see, nor will you ever and, see or ever learn about. Yeah, in any comic. Ugh. That's it's such crap. It's such crap. Hurts. This is, for me, this is the sequel to Wolverine Origin. Like, it's just like, yeah. it's, you know, what happened to the brother? What happened, like, it's the first Wolverine story and the last Wolverine story. By the same guy who wrote, like, this really beautiful, amazing story, you have this stupid thing. This Here's the shit. shit. Here's the kicker. Here's the really bad part. Yeah, what's the really bad part? Yeah, what is it? The ad on the last page is for Halle Berry's cat. <laughs> Last of course thing you see. Of course yeah. it is. Like, ugh, what can I use? What 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 pleasing advertisement <laughs> washed this terrible taste out of my mouth? Because these, I, were, these were dark times. These were, it was. We we got Wolverine in the end and Halle Berry Catwoman movies. Oh. I will say the cover price is only three bucks though. Oh. Not worth it. So it was only eighteen dollars. A disappointing eighteen dollars. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. This is such a high contrast to between, origin. yeah, Wolverine Origins yeah. and the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and I don't know if it's like Paul Jenkins like wrote part of it and then pulled from like a script for the original series that he was going to launch, or I don't know. But it's just so goddamn terrible. Yeah. Maybe he and it's not even like like the dialogue's fine. You know, mm-hmm. like the art's great. It yeah. looks cool. It, look cool. it looks cool. It's not like it's transcendental or beautiful no. it's just cool and it's well comprised there's the shots are really well put together the panel layout's great it's a great looking comic they try some new things they you know they play with the whole with the format maybe he assumed that after writing this mm-hmm. they wouldn't ask him to do no, any more Wolverine no no stories. no the editors were gonna look at it and be like man you set up so many things yeah professor x dies yeah. he has a secret brother yeah he knows all about him you we gotta get you to write an entire wolverine run <laughs> yes yeah. I see a, I see a, a, an entire, an entire line of Wolverine books. He's Wolverine the, Xavier story. Wolverine the Brother Years. Wolverine <laughs> Sabretooth. Wol- He's like, like, this is my ticket. Yeah, this is, so, this is perfect. He's setting was, up dozens of other stories yeah. that never. Except happen. he was already comic book legend. Paul Jenkins, he created yeah. the century. He wrote the definitive Wolverine story. He wrote a, a beautiful run on Spider Man. Like the dude can write. He's already made his bones. He doesn't need to like launch an entire Wolverine line. He's no, not. I don't tr- know. He's not trying to cash it. I mean, he's maybe clearly... he wants to write more. Maybe he's like, I want to write. I could write Wolverine, but they wouldn't let me do it the way I want. Free hand, right? I'd have to do it in good fucking continuity and shit. Yeah. But if I could like pitch this, yeah, then they'll be if like, if I could oh, show you Wolverine. where he ends up. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's in the future. It's a hundred years in the future. I can do doesn't whatever matter. I want. Yeah. Except it's the end. Well, yeah, it's but it's called like, the end. Well, this is where it ends. But then I would write the fill-in books. Oh, because there'd yeah. be such demand for it, right? Because of how great this. Because is. Because of how how wonderful. What a swan song this. And is. how many how many things I've left unanswered? Yes. How many questions about a... dying to know? They will be breaking the doors down at Marvel, demanding yeah. for the answer. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I filled it all in, then I'll write the end too. And the then end. then maybe he'll die. <laughs> they'll write the two. actual end, which is hilarious because yeah. they actually did do a Wolverine origin. Two as they well, did, by yeah. the way. Wolverine right. in the end. Well, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Back Issues. This came out of Wolverine's yeah. end. Moving up to the 100th episode. Ramping up. Last 10 episodes. Oh, what do we do next? Wolverine in the end. We just finished <laughs> hitting all the classics. Yeah, <laughs> Christ and Infinite Earths. Wolverine in the end. Who knows? We did, uh, what was it? Daredevil Fall from Grace, man. That was a popular one. Yep. <laughs> if you want to help out the show and get us some books or whatever to make the show better, you can always go to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash comic pop. You can see if the rewards are right for you. If you want to check that out and participate, we'll see you there, maybe. And if not, we'll always see you here on Comic Pop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you guys next week with an all-new episode. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody, from us on the Red Couch yep. to you out there on the internet. Uh, Lots of jerky. I was trying to think of like a Thanksgiving book, and there mm. isn't one. So I was like, Wolverine in the end. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Hey, you know what? You're you're tired. You're full of turkey. This episode's coming out on Thanksgiving. You're you're full of turkey and cranberries. You're just like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Throw on back issues yeah. and go. What? <laughs> Hopefully, you don't laugh so hard that you <laughs> throw up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever <laughs> laughed so hard I vomited. I don't wow. know. It depends on how full you are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs>
Oh, Thanks for don't watching. Don't leave that comment down, <laughs> down below. I don't if you know. do that, keep it to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite The End title? That's what I want to uh, know. Was it this? <laughs> Once you see another The End title on this show, you will be like, Oh! Once you see two in a row. Yeah, two like, in a row. That's two in like row. the start of yeah. the end of comic <laughs> <laughs> back issues anyway. Which yeah. means we'll never end. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, it's true.